supporters of Reclaim the City and Ndifuna Ukwazi, ensuring that their fight for affordable housing in the inner city is not forgotten. Their protest against the sale of the Tafelberg school site in Seapoint succeeded in court last year. Then the Western Cape Department of Public Works published a financial model for low-cost housing on the site. It will be made up of 270 new social housing units to be cross-subsidized by commercial retail outlets, a move the NGOs have welcomed. Our people has been dominated for such a long time in this area. They aren't free enough to afford living in these conditions in Seapoint. And they don't earn that much money to rent these apartments that is so highly rentals. So therefore we thought to raise this as a concern. NGO Ndifuna Ukwazi says the proposed development could work if done properly. Some of the concerns of the model is the idea is there and the idea is mixed income, mixed use development on state land. The problem is it might not be the optimal development that they've proposed. So really we want whatever they propose to be watertight and to be the best thing that can be possible for that piece of land. The cut-off date for public comment on the financial model will be done in two weeks' time. Len Arense, SABC News, Cape Town.